Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Fazil and welcome to my YouTube channel. This tutorial is about creating new project in Atmel Studio 7, which is the integrated development platform for developing and debugging Atmel Smart ARM based and Atmel AVR microcontroller op applications. So without wasting much of time, let's get it started. To create a new project, first go to the file which is here select new and select project you can also press ctrl shift n or there's an option outside here let's click on it so there are some options where you can choose your platform according to your programming language or the boards you are using in your project I will select the second option as I have used C language. These are actually the list. This is the second option which I'll use in my project. And I'll rename the project which is LED example 1. Then you have to select your path where your project will be saved and you have to check this box to create a separate directory then press ok this is the device selection part there are a list of devices which are used in your project and I have used Atmega family device which is Atmega 16 so I'll select Atmega from the list and then I will select Atmega 16 which is here selecting it will display some links which contains data sheet supported tools etc in case you want to learn more about your controller just click OK Now here you can see a main.c tab which has some initial headers and main function where you can start writing your program. Here are the list of files which your project is using. Now let us write a program. I have already a program in my notepad so I'll just copy it from there and then paste it in my main.c file. So here you can see the program which is just a simple program to blink uh, LED. I have used port A of microcontroller which have 8 pins and all are connected with one LED each. There is a display. There is a delay for one second. This all goes inside a while loop which is infinite. You can see here the delay and the while loop. Now let us build the project by selecting build on the top which is here and then selecting build solution. Here you can see messages. It shows one warning but never mind we can ignore it for now. If we will rebuild it then the warning will not be displayed again. So just rebuild it. There we go. And see the build is succeeded without any error. So this is the whole procedure. No error, no failure. And now to see the output files which which you need in order to burn the program in microcontroller go to the location where you have saved the project this is the location 
and this is the folder inside the folder you can see main.c file and inside debug folder there are outputs that are generated after building these are the various for these are various formats but we are looking for is the .hex file this file will be used to burn into your microcontroller there is one more thing that you can find interesting basically what is done at final build of your program is to select a release from the drop down menu which is here and build program again this is done when you have your final program that you want to use in your product to be released just build it no error go back to the project location and you can see another folder named as release it have same number of files as debug folder have so there is the dot hex file so this was the admin studio 7 if you have any queries leave the comment below for more videos go to my channel also subscribe my channel like and share my videos support will be appreciated thanks for watching hope to see you soon goodbye